Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to see what's coming towards you for the month of April 2021. So let's get right into your reading, Gemini. Let's see exactly what's going on for this month of April. How are you doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys are being positive, putting your intentions out there. We just went through this full moon that... Uh, is a very pivotal moment. There's a lot of major transformations that are happening. Uh, and this is um, setting us towards a new direction, towards a new beginning, towards um, finding our purpose, finding our truth uh, on a deeper level. So again, um, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys have your emotions on check, Gemini. All right, so I'm shuffling the deck. What I'm feeling right now is for a lot of you guys, what they're saying here is um, you're going to be experiencing, that's if you're not already experiencing Gemini, almost a feeling like having the need to, having the need to speak up. And I find that very odd because Geminis usually don't have that issue. Um, but what they're saying is it could be that you're very much in your head. Uh, it could be that situations or circumstances start to unfold where they put you in a position or in a situation where you're kind of thrown aback and there's almost a feeling like you can't even express what you're feeling because you're trying to process your emotions. So again, for some of you guys, it could be feeling like you're being restricted, feeling like uh, people are trying to change you or they're trying to make you think or see things a certain way. This could be family members, this could be relatives, and it's almost like a feeling of wanting to rebel, wanting to just do your own thing or have some time even. And, and what I'm seeing is for some of you guys, like if you're married or in a committed relationship, like I see you guys like arriving home and staying in your car in the driveway. And even if it's like for two, three minutes, so it's almost like a feeling of wanting or having like your soul is feeling a need to disconnect, to have a moment of peace or a moment of silence or a moment on your own. And that could be something that you're experiencing or you will be experiencing for the month of April. Just breathe in, Gemini. <laughs> Take it slow. Okay. So in regards to communication, we have the Ace of Cups here. Ace of Cups is um, being able to communicate in a very in a very loving way. I feel that for some of you guys, you're going to be dealing with, uh, again, like I said, almost a feeling of like if your partner has a tendency of always relying on you or communicating what they're going through, what their day was like, and you've been very patient or you listen to them, you try to support them 100%. Um, but I feel that in in retrospect, uh, there's almost a feeling of wanting to reconnect with yourself, Gemini. I feel that the Ace of Cups is a representation of being able to uh, communicate in a very positive way, but there is still a bit of a feeling of like restriction or having the need or wanting to find some type of peace as you guys can see here the dove at the top and that's really sticking out for me so i feel that for a lot of you guys it's like you're trying to find your peace of mind or you're trying to find peace in a situation that you're going to be dealing with for the month of april now in regards to your finances and career we have the high priestess here and the high priestess is paying attention to your intuition gemini it's about really being able to not fully trusting people at face value. This is about you being very methodical in the way you communicate or deal with people. I also feel for some of you guys, they're saying be careful the people you bring around your home. So again, if you know, if you kind of feel off in regards to some type of friendship, some type of relative, someone that is around you that you just feel their energy off. I would like if you're having a social gathering, some type of uh, welcoming home party or, or something like that. What they're saying is be mindful of the people that you bring into your home. And I'm getting it very strongly for some of you guys. This could be a representation of someone um, being very secretive in regards to wanting to peek or wanting to see through or in your relationship 
This could be a person. This could even be a family member that may portray themselves as they really care for you and they're happy for your success. But in reality, they, they, they want to check up on you or they want to go, not because they care so much as to the nosiness and the desire to know how you're doing in life is much more stronger. Do you see what I'm saying? So pay attention to that, Gemini. Now, in regards to the challenge for this month is the two of wands. So the two of wands is that of expansion. It is that of growth for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single. There could be a situation where you feel like you don't completely trust the person that you're with or the person that you're dating or the person that, uh, you know, has your interest. It's almost a feeling like they could be very loving and very caring one day and then the next day they could be very cold and standoffish. The high priestess is right at the center, which represent, you know, feeling like there is some type of mystery behind it or some type of... Um, something that they're not revealing to you with the two of wands here what they're telling you is this could be almost a defensive mechanism of yours it could be that you're looking into more than what it really is so what they're telling you here for the month of april it's going to be very important to get out of your own way meaning the challenge here is to trust your intuition with the high priestess and to really put forth or take action uh towards your goals and aspirations if you're dealing with a specific individual allowing things to unfold in a very organic way do not worry do not rush do not focus on the future be in the present is what they're telling you gemini don't be quick to jump to conclusions as well and um what we have here in regards to love and romance is the eight of swords so again I feel that there is a defensive mechanism kicking in for you. For some of you guys, it could be that this person maybe in the past wasn't completely honest. You're kind of questioning that. But I feel that this is more to do with your mind. This has more to do with your inner fears that are coming up. So again, try the best you can to get out of your own head, Gemini. Allow things to unfold and learn to live in the present. Don't be very quick to... Uh, try to predict what's going to unfold in the future because that could be a detriment uh, to your being able to move forward. Uh, you can start to experience obstacles that weren't there. And this has a lot to do with you kind of manifest that into your life. So be careful with that. Now, Spirit's message here is the Page of Pentacles. So again, I do see communication coming through. I do see a message coming through uh, that perhaps could give you a bit more clarity in regards to this connection. For some of you guys, if there was a, a kind of a feeling of hot and cold, the person, you know, overly communicates and then all of a sudden they fall off the map, they could be coming through with um, some type of clarity or being completely honest with you in regards to what's going on in their life. And very highly, it could be that their work is keeping them busy right now or they're taking on more responsibilities at work that is not giving them as much freedom as they once had. So again, um, be mindful about that. Okay, so let's get into your direct spirits general message here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021. Let's see what spirit wants to communicate for Gemini's. I do see new love uh, for some of you guys. New love is coming towards you. This could be a person that could be a bit difficult to read. This could be a person that is extremely intuitive. Um, and it's almost like if you feel, if you experience in the month of April, a very strong pull and connection towards someone uh, that is new. Okay, this is not nothing to do with the past. This is a new energy that's coming through. Try the best you can not to allow the fears to start to come up, meaning feeling like they are pretending or acting as if the connection is deeper than what it really is. Truth of the matter is that this person is very intuitive. And if they do feel that strong connection, they will be revealing that, but it's going to take a while because it takes a while for them to open up. Okay, Gemini. All right. So what we have here is broken heart. So I feel that this is not necessarily something that you've ex you're experiencing right now or will be experiencing. 
I think that what they're trying to tell you here, Gemini, is for a lot of you guys, you've experienced broken heart. You've experienced being betrayed or being let down or being hurt by those that you trusted the most. So this could be the reason why you're extremely guarded. This could be the reason why when something good comes along, you often question it or you're waiting kind of like a ticking time bomb, waiting for it to go off. And what they're telling you is that don't allow this, don't allow your fears to intervene with what is unfolding before you because you're creating obstacles that are not even there. This has a lot to do with psychologically what you've been through and this is like like i said your self uh self-defense mechanism that comes up it's like okay this is good too good to be true there are certain things that are unfolding maybe i need to like not trust them maybe i need to see what's going on let things unfold and what they're telling you here is if you often approach situations in that state of mind where all right, I'm going to, you know, kind of trust you, but not fully because I'm just going to wait for you to show who you really are. If that's the mentality that you're going or you're approaching relationships, then you're always going to be felt or be let down. Why? Because you're manifesting this into your life. So again, it's about healing and letting go. Do not allow past experiences. And this could even be from childhood. Uh, there could have been some type of situation where you felt like you weren't loved enough or where you felt like you kind of had to prove yourself uh, to receive some type of love. And this is, again, having a lot to do from not just from relationships that you've been in, but, you know, this can also represent childhood trauma. So, again, uh, it's about healing that. It's about acknowledging, hey, OK, things are going good. Why am I questioning or why am I doubting? Has this person given me reasons to doubt, reasons to fear? If the answer is no, then obviously it has something to do internally. All right? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.